John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text And all these thy servants shall come down unto me, and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get thee out, and all the people that follow thee. And after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger. Exodus 11 8 Commentary And all these thy servants, Pharaoh's nobles, ministers, courtiers, and counselors, who were then in his presence, and stood about him, to whom Moses pointed, shall come down unto me, from Pharaoh's palace, which might be built on an eminence, to the place where Moses had dwelt during the time he had been in Egypt, which might lie lower, or these should come from Zoan, or from Memphis, whichever of them was now the royal city, to the land of Goshen, which lay lower than the other part of Egypt, or it may only denote the submission of Pharaoh's servants, that they should in the time of their distress be so humble and condescending as to come themselves to Moses, and as it follows, and bow down themselves unto me, in the most obsequious manner, humbly and reading, and earnestly begging him, saying, Get thee out, and all the people that follow thee, or are at thy feet, that were at his beck and command, and under his power, as Aben Ezra, or that followed his counsel and advice, as Jarkia, that did as he directed them, and went after him as their leader and commander, even every one of them, they that brought up the rear, he, and all of them, would be desired to depart, and not a man remain behind. This was fulfilled, Exodus 12. 31. And after that I will go out, out of the land of Egypt, Moses, and all the children of Israel. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger, as soon as he had said the above words, because he had bid him be gone from him, and had threatened him with his life, if ever he saw his face more, and because he was so rebellious against God, whose zeal inspired the heart of Moses with indignation against him, though the meekest man on earth, and for whose glory he was concerned, though some understand this of Moses going out from Pharaoh, when he and not Moses was in great anger, because of what Moses had now threatened him with, and told him what would be the issue of things, the submission of him and his nobles, and the dismission of Israel, but this sense is not favored by the accents.